Well, hi, this is Jay Arthur, and welcome to Stacking and Restacking with the QI Macros. Under the Data Mining menu, you'll find our Restacking tools. And here you can see we've selected some data by month, by patient. Sometimes what we'd like to do is get a link that we can actually then paste into one of the templates, like one of the control chart templates or something like that. And so if we just say Paste Link, it'll create essentially the same thing, but you can see here we have the formula now that will put in the correct linkage values and then these things could then be linked into a control chart template. So if we opened up a control chart template like the XMR and we could go back to our data, select that data, copy it, and then paste that data into our spreadsheet, paste in the formulas, I'll just paste in everything, then we'd get the start of our control chart so we'd have all this linkage. Now if you don't like your data in that way maybe your data is aligned a different way. Maybe it's all horizontal and we need to get it into a vertical way. Well Excel does not have a paste link function. Paste links transpose so we're going to use paste link transpose and that'll take and link the horizontal data into this vertical thing which we could then paste into a uh, control chart template. So those are the two paste link. Paste link for vertical, paste link transpose to get horizontal into verticals. Next thing we want to look at is how to stack columns. So here's some data where we have data that's all spread out like this, but maybe we want to stack this data into a single column. So stacking and restacking, we just say stack columns, and we want to put that into one column and so it'll create the one column with the other data next to it. Now we might also want to go the other way. So we might want to go from a single column of data into some other matrix sort of format. So the stack and restack will actually say, okay, well let's take that uh, one by one mini matrix and turn that into subgroups of columns of two. And so that'll group those into columns of two. We could also take this data and say, well, I want to unstack by subgroup. So we need to say how many samples are in each subgroup, in this case five. And it would create our subgroups here, so samples of five. And so here we might also have, now that we have it by label, we have all of our data. Maybe we need to restack that by label. So I want to unstack this by label. And it'll take that data and put it back into the format it was in originally. So stacking columns and unstacking by label can be very similar, reversing the one or the other. Now we might also have things where we have different kinds of columns of labels in a single data point. And we'd like to put all of these under one label, right? Because the one label uh, makes it easier to chart or graph something. So we have restacking, we can unstack by multi-label. And it'll take all this data and then go across and create things. So here you can see we've spread this out a little bit. So large and consumer and one, this is the data for that. Large consumer two, large consumer three, large con manufacturer one. So it's taken this data that's kind of line by line and grouped it for us. So now we can start to do other things with that data. And the other option here is the matrix. Right, so we can take something that's a matrix. So you can see here region one and region two by foam, scent, and color. Maybe we want to unstack that by from the matrix into a single column. And so what it'll do is take all the region ones, regions, and all of the foam data, and then say, okay, foam region one uh, is 6.3, right? And then it just keeps going on down, and will regroup all that data for us into a single column. So in essence, that's our process, is to take all of this data and start to turn it into something that is in a better format so it makes it easier to chart, graph, do statistical analysis on. We can unstack things and restack things and paste link things, all in the QI macros.